Emily. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. So The Pursuit of Love is based on a best-selling book. When did you first read it and what was it about the novel that inspired you to turn it into a miniseries? I read it first when I was a teenager um, and I loved it, but um, I'm not no longer a teenager. It's many years since I was a teenager and the production company had got the rights to the book and came to me, I think because I had written a show, um, produced a show with my best friend Dolly called Doll and M that was another kind of comedy, sort of, sort of uh, dark comedy about female friendship. And um, I think that was why I was approached and asked to write the adaptation of this. And I said, yes, I, I had a moment pause where I thought, does the world really need another kind of costume drama about people in big houses in the English countryside? And then I reread the novel and I remembered how radical it is in a way and how kind of what a wild ride and how um you know good it is about the kind of thorny and absurd business of sort of being alive and falling in love and trying to understand who you are in the world and how it really felt me I felt really seen and heard as a woman um and uh I thought no this 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 does deserve to be uh, um you know given to people and it felt like such a treat to read it and uh it's so entertaining and and I I wanted to give audiences the same kind of treat to watch as as I experienced reading the book. This is your directorial debut what did you enjoy most about the process and would you do it again? If I'm given the opportunity to do it again I would absolutely love love it I I really enjoyed um, directing yeah I really enjoyed it because I, as an actor you're very kind of somehow it feels very personal you're very involved in, in, in caught up in sort of judging yourself and worrying about yourself in the whole process of doing a performance and it makes you quite neurotic <laughs> and I love directing because it just seemed to be very little about me it was just about telling this story and wanting to communicate this story that I loved and that I felt very kind of taken with and wanting to give people the best version I could muster of this story and and I felt like I was sort of behind the scenes rather than but I was helping other people, you know, be their best selves to help tell the story. And it all felt, everything was in, in, in service of, of telling the story and communicating the ideas and themes and, and tone of the book in a way that was entertaining. And, and I just loved it. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. How did you decide to take on the role of the bolter? Well, I decided that if I was going to go to the trouble of, of the, 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 somewhat you know intense trouble of writing and directing a three-hour television show I could at least give myself a part it's difficult enough to get a job um, <laughs> uh, as an actor and uh, and if you're going to write something with 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 many um, parts in it you might as well give one to yourself and then I thought well the one I could do that was the least time consuming but with the biggest bang for its buck was the bolter um, and so I gave myself this job um, kind of unashamedly uh, cast myself, but then really regretted it as we were just getting to start the shoot. I, I kept trying to fire myself because I was just so scared. And I was thinking, this is just, I was just so greedy. What was I thinking? Am I some sort of megalomaniac that I thought I could do all this stuff? And I kept trying to um, go to the producers and, and, and sack, uh, sack me uh, myself as the bolter, but they wouldn't let me. And then I was stuck with it. And then, um, you know, I had to run about the set with a sort of absurd wig on my head, telling people what to do, which was very awkward and uh, difficult. It was really difficult doing both. I wouldn't do that again in a hurry. But I'm pleased I played the bolter because she's a great character and a great part and uh, a kind of, in a way, I like the way that she, the book celebrates this this kind of dreadful woman, um, but but who lived life very unapologetically. And uh, it was very liberating to play someone like that. Well, I'm very glad they didn't let you fire yourself because <laughs> you did a great job. Such an amazing character. I thank want to thank you. you so much for taking the time today to chat with me.
Thank you very much. It was lovely to see you. You too. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so now and click the like button underneath the video. Tap the notification bell if you want to make sure not to miss out on any new celebrity interviews.